Since 2010, Winston-Salem's historic Chatham Mill has stood silent. But now, a specialized team is transforming it, hoping the changes will economically revitalize surrounding neighborhoods while also offering affordable housing. The project site is about a block and a half from the intersection of Marshall Street and Northwest Boulevard in the city's Northwest Ward. It, it is art, not science, uh, because every building is different. Ken Ryder is one of the property's owners and developers. Their niche is rehabbing large historic commercial complexes into viable multi-use areas. Other projects include the Wake Forest Innovation Quarter and the American Tobacco Campus in Durham. I say the patient's on the table, right? But, and it's being operated on, so you, it's, it's pretty interesting. It's open, you know, things aren't closed in, there aren't walls yet and stuff like that. So that, that's the most exciting thing for me is to walk people through and say, you know, wow, this place is amazing. And say, so, well, we, that, we're not even done yet. Phase one is converting 15 buildings into 166 apartments. Most will be one and two bedroom units with a few three bedrooms. They'll range from 830 to 1500 square feet featuring 18-foot-tall ceilings and the original exposed beams and bricks from the early 1900s. According to Ryder, expert craftsmen used fine glass, talcum powder, and even peanut shells to blast off years of paint to reveal these attributes. Also, half of these units will be workforce housing, meaning the rent will be 80 percent of what area residents earn. Councilman Jeff McIntosh is thrilled. This is going to provide housing that is affordable for most people in, in town, people who want to participate in the downtown vibrancy, are going to be able to afford to live here, whereas some of the other projects downtown are, are, are frankly more expensive. They're actually doing building the elevator pit right now. Elevators are also being installed. Yep. According to Ryder, people will be able to move in around the end of 2015. Ryder also describes this site as unique because of the original materials used to build the Chatham Manufacturing Complex in the early 1900s. Um, it's a, a very rare combination of heavy timber and steel and concrete of, of significant eras. So it's got the heavy timber traditional textile mill and then it has that 1940s, 50s steel and concrete uh, industrial complex buildup construction methods. That's very rare to see on one site. Another distinction is the site's family history. The Haynes invested in the Chatham Mill, which made wool blankets and other items, and eventually marriage forever linked the families back in October 1919. Phase two of this mammoth venture includes converting an open 50,000 square foot building into commercial retail and office space. The Chatham Complex is next door to the North Ward, represented by Councilwoman Denise Adams. She believes this kind of redevelopment project can also be an economic catalyst for her area. Contractor supplier, they follow the, the trail. Across the street, the other businesses will either uh, revitalize or repurpose their properties, but you'll see something like they say, it'll be magical. That then holds the door open. The Chatham Mill project carries a price tag of about $40 million. Federal, state, and local dollars, along with private investments, are funding it. The city of Winston-Salem approved a $750,000 loan and other business development monies to help bring new life into these old buildings. The site is also listed on the National Registry of Historic Places, enabling Ryder and his team to take advantage of federal historic tax credits and grandfather into similar state benefits. At the end of 2014, North Carolina's General Assembly chose not to renew the state's historic tax credit program, something Winston-Salem Mayor Alan Joins disagrees with. One, two, three. During a recent groundbreaking for the Chatham Mill project, he said without historic tax credits, developers won't be able to afford rehabilitation efforts like this one, making it even harder for communities to rebuild their economies and improve residential living. We, we've got to keep pushing to get those redone. Here in, in Winston-Salem, we've seen almost $750 million of investment as a result of historic tax credits. Currently, Governor Pat McCrory is proposing an alternative tax credit to preserve historic buildings in North Carolina. The Chatham Mill was built in 1904 and was one of the country's largest wool and blanket manufacturing sites. Over the years, it's been sold and bought numerous times and buildings have been added. It's been an engineering and design center during World War II and a research site for Western Electric. 
Ryder explains how his team will archive this varied history. We're working on you know, taking some artifacts and turning them into site furnishings and different design elements. And then we're also working on kind of a, a narrative history and a, uh, talking about just um, uh, putting a library and gallery together where we'll showcase the products and uh, kind of what was, what was done here over the course. A sort of museum honoring thousands of skilled labor who helped build the city of Winston-Salem. The new owners of this Chatham property call the project a pebble in a pond, and they're hoping the subsequent ripples will spark new building rehab projects across Winston-Salem. Catherine Mobley, WSTV Digital Media.